Have you ever like been caught like with your zipper down like and it's been? I mean, yeah. I'm not embarrassed by it's shit like that. It's not that embarrassing, yeah. I think. Dude, I don't know why people make it seem like it's such a oh, there's zippers yeah. down. Look X Y Z. I think it's just because it's so it's just it sticks out like a sore thumb. It's just <laughs> X- like examine your zipper. Examine your zipper. <laughs> hey X Y Z. <laughs> I I will say it's not as embarrassing um as the the guy he was I forget his name but he was the uh he used to play pro football and then he was like doing like the news for the football game or whatever Troy Aikman it could have been him where he had the wet spot where he came back from the bathroom to like he like didn't like fully shake it and it had like oh no right there and it was like all over TikTok everybody was ripping him that still happens to me and not just a spot it's like down the whole pant leg (laughs) what (laughs) how do you like how do you have that much piss still in your make sure you're finished before in your shaft yeah because I think when you pull it out like you know how like your boxers kind of like go under everything and it's still like kind of like pinching the urethra (laughs) yeah and so it's just like not fully out and you just think oh I'm good and then right when you Remove that spandex of the waistband; it just unleashes more. As <laughs> yeah, you, like, I don't. I don't feel that. In. Mine is like I don't even need to shake mine. It just it's. Wait, do girls ever like have their zippers undone? I yeah. feel like all girls' jeans are like buttons. There's not like. I do have a lot of pants because I prefer the buttons going all the way up. But yeah, zippers. My, I think it happens more to girls because they're so tight, and if they don't fit properly, it's just zoop. Oh, that makes sense. I don't know. It's fun. I always thought the stitching on like pants were kind of like weird because that like that looks like a penis. Yeah, when it like pops up too. <laughs> Why do they have to do <laughs> oh, this yeah. this stitching swoop? Yeah, on it, the pants. I never really looked at it like yeah, that. Yeah, like but what's this suggesting? Like sweat pants just it straight just down. Like, or they should, like... if they have to loop it, at least continue it to where it's hidden. Right. I love how we're like all <laughs> just clothing experts. It's like yeah, why why don't they just create it hey, like I this? I took fashion class for six months. I think I know. Well, tell us a little something about it then. You're looking at it. <laughs> An icon, a queen. We had to wear. We had to make a pair of pants for our our project for fashion class. I made I made pajama pants. That's all I got. Isn't it weird how it's called a pair of pants? Because it's two two legs. But look at this: two sleeves. Right. A pair of glasses. Right. It's still one thing. But I think they're counting the. Yeah, it wouldn't be a pair of shirt. A pair of shoes. A parakeet. <laughs> you would say a pair of shoes. <laughs> Two birds. A pair a of parakeet. A parasite. You want to get a, a paramedic. Let's a, get on with this shit. A, par- a paradactyl. A paraplegic. <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> Very good. All right, let's get it, baby. All right. Uh, welcome back to Zany. Oh wait, no, it's coffee. It's coffee talk, Heath. What you baby, doing, baby? I'm jazzed up. It's coffee talk, baby. Woo! Oh, I love. Ba-na-da. I love you just spilled tequila music. in my coffee. <laughs> I, I, I need like a shot or something. Oh, then go take a quick shot, guys. I thought gonna... you said shower, and I was like, I am not dealing with this right now. <gasps> Somebody else talk to him. <laughs> oh, of what? Shot of what? Tequila? I'm not feeling very good today, so I think this will help. I think a nice. ghost scratched Zane in the middle of the night. You have scratches all over my face. I don't know why. It's like there's three lines right here. You always have scratches. Yeah, though. I was telling Mariah last night. Every night, like oh, this is 30 weird. minutes or an hour before I go, this is every night for the past like year. It burns so much on this side of my face and it won't go away until like I fall asleep. Like until Isn't that like so your strange. skin just stings. It, it, it just burns. I feel like I have to grab an ice cube and just rub it over here just to cool it off. It's the weirdest thing. And I typed it in and I, I can't figure out what it's it is. It's just this side. It's just this side. And then every, like every night I pull up my phone. I'm just like, I can't believe it burns like that. And I, I do a selfie and flash and it's just red all <laughs> over here. I used to have like striped yeah. rosacea sometimes. Is it is that is it rosacea? I like I for used some to reason ha- get rosacea in just weird places. Plastic. Like it's not usually I'll have like a full cheek. I would have like a weird line or something. I don't know. It, it's a red line. It's like a red line and then it just burns all well, over. See what it. was crazy Why though, because I was burn? like, Are you That's scratching so yourself in your sleep? No. And you're like, look at my nails. No, yeah, I have no nails. There's, I'm not scratching myself. It's a demon. Oh, oh. I, I'm, I've been hearing shit in my house. I need to sage my house. Oh, really? Because I think I'm on some like grave. Change the dirt. Change the dirt. Yeah, like, you have to fully just. It's like poltergeist. Have you like, been hearing stuff too? Uh, no, no. You no. don't hear like at night. Like I feel like someone's walking upstairs in Todd's Todd. room. <laughs> no, it's not Todd. <laughs> it's Todd. Todd is not there. Todd won't be home, and I hear like footsteps in Todd's room. Every time I, I think have to look Zane up his might location. be haunting himself. We, well, Maybe. I don't know who owned the house before you because they lost it to the bank, meaning That's, they were in some trouble. Yeah. Meaning, they I don't died. know what happened to that dude who owned it. But... I think some sketchy shit happened in the house. And they, that's Ooh. why I got it for so cheap. 
they had to get why no, did i no get one it would so bite. Cheap? they have to tell you though yeah i think they legally have to tell you if something like a murder or somebody died but or... i mean if i didn't ask they're probably just if like they got eh. away with it. okay where's your degree on buying a house where something went down do you, if it's like an old person died and it was the end of their life is that Not okay? I don't, uh, yeah. Now, yeah. I mean, if but some... you still have to say something, right? I think if somebody was killed in the house, you have to yeah. say something. If it was a crime scene, you have to say something. Or if it right. was burnt to the ground. What if someone just dropped that? Like me, I was at home. Uh, drop that. No, I don't think so. I was at home. Drop they don't it. have to tell you that, or that's not big of a deal. I don't think it has to be disclosed. But okay. it still gets hot. It, like I feel like you can still haunt it. What right? if? Sorry, if this is morbid. What, what if somebody drowned in the pool? Right, like that's kid. what I think of. Uh, but and what's sad though, even you're like, oh, it's at the pool, it's that. But all the neighbors in the entire community, nobody wants to come to the, your house because they knew what, what happened. The kid drowned in the pool. Um, at your pool. But right. you're getting it for a steal. That, I think just bad murder. Memories. Murders will like really freak me out. Like I, I wouldn't buy a house that someone yeah. got murdered. In. If it was like a like a murder or a suicide, I would I would be like a little yeah. Like remember, remember our realtor, the yeah. house that he like. What happened in the house? I forget. I I don't know. I don't even want to say who. There was there was a pretty good shootout that happened in the house with, uh, like a famous person. It wasn't like a like a murder where like like someone got brutally like just murdered in that. It was just like a shootout and the guy ended up dying in the house. What is that? A, a terrible thing would be if you signed and bought the house and some person gets out of jail and thinks that the person. Still lives there. Uh, Still lives there. Uh, it, or, or they just get you totally confused with somebody else. I feel like that's happened before. Oh, yeah. I mean, yeah. the movie Big Lebowski, they confuse him with the other Lebowski. And so... I haven't seen it. Sorry, you've man. never seen the Big Lebowski? No, I always see it on my like Netflix thing or whatever program it is, but like I never, I've never oh, seen it. Oh, it's a classic. But it's about this like average Joe dude who gets confused with a big billionaire in town who has the same name. So one day he's just chilling in his bathtub and these guys come and just drown him. Oh. Or try to drown him because they're like, "Where's the money, Lebowski?" And he's like, "I don't know who the fuck you guys are." That's like when I went home to Pennsylvania. I went to this country club, and there's a list of the people that are like a part of the country club, and one of the guys' names was, um, "Hello, Lebowski, Jeff, Wittick, Jeff, oh Epstein, Jeff Epstein." Uh, and was it Jeffrey Epstein? No. <laughs> oh. What's going on, guys? Welcome back to Zane and Heath Unfiltered. Oh, my God. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm Zane. That's Zane. And we have our lovely Matt and Mariah with us. <laughs> Thank you. Or what if your name was Casey Anthony? <laughs> what if your name was Casey Anthony? Oof. And there's this huge big case. And at, your name's just tarnished because everyone confuses you with Casey Anthony. I would change it. it but yeah. you have yeah. to pay to change your name, right? Do you think they're like lenient on that? Where they'd be like, oh, we kind of get it. You I would bet that think, sucks. How much does it cost not. to change your name? <laughs> I changed my name. I'm surprised you even have to pay to change your name. Like, why is that something where the, gov the government has to charge you for that? I it's kind of like when you have to pay to change your license plate if you want it to say something else. Exactly. Something. It's just stupid. Like, why pay for it? But yeah. Huh. Okay. I guess. I know, right? I guess. Or just get married. Okay. <laughs> that is true. <laughs> get a free name change. <laughs> Remember, we had so, a crazy encounter with a haunted house. Which Did one? The one that was in Jackson's backyard that was on used to be on Selena Gomez's property. Oh yeah, what? in Jackson's backyard in one of his houses, our buddy he they have this like little doll house, but it's like it's a it's actually it's a like pretty, a big it's a doll, big doll it's a big house. playhouse for your right. kid to it's go like play you'd house see in. It, like the Kardashians would get for their kids. The house is like on their ranch, okay. And people have reported who work on the ranch that they see this woman in a white dress always walking around it, okay? Yeah. Uh -huh. But what was crazy is that that house used to be on a property they used to be on a property that they used to own that they rented out to Selena Gomez. And Selena Gomez went on a podcast and and talked about this, how she used to see like a girl in a white dress oh, running around wow. the house. Shit. So the, she got rid of the house and now that house is in our buddy's backyard. Weird. And it, but it Damn, was reported go. the sighting of this From ghost two different people. Two different yeah. people. And what's weird is that this spirit has is followed the, this the little dollhouse. Doll the fact that the people that work there like caught it is crazy because they were now not, I gotta know the no history idea. of the dollhouse. Yeah, and and we we were all like in there and laughing and drinking. Yeah, I yeah. don't know. I feel I just need to see a ghost with my own eyes. Yeah, to like fully believe. Don't tell yourself that because I I don't think you want to see it. I've never seen a ghost. I never either. have. I think I've seen things. But it's like my own imagination. Yeah. yeah. I saw this TikTok of this. Uh, it was a mother and her little boy. And he kept looking up in the bathroom, kept looking up at the, like the AC. He's like, 
I want, I'm saying hi to my friend. And she's like, there's nobody there. Oh, and he God. was, and like, but he does it all the time. Is this like, and you just like, you have to wonder like, is this kid seeing something? Yeah. Or does or he is have he a good like, imagination? Yeah. Or is there yeah. somebody actually living up there? Cause people do that shit. That right. is one of my biggest like, <laughs> I know. fears. Like, is somebody living, in, living in your house and you don't know. I know. Cause it's that's where, before. oh, I think about that at least once a week. I always think about it. Cause like I'm in a rental and I'm like, that creeps me out more. Like, I feel like if I owned a house, I wouldn't be worried. But like, I've always thought about like landlords in the past if they're fucking weird and they have like some sort of cameras or they're yeah. like in the house There's and have, so much unknown. have access still because it's still their house. Oh, yeah. weird. Oh, it makes me so uneasy. I think about that. Oh, that's like, a, yeah, that's a movie, I think. It is. We yeah. just watched I that movie. It, was it Dennis? Quinn? It was like a vacation home. It was, it was a vacation home, and he had cameras all over the house. How do you guys have time for all these movies and shows? Uh, what? We Netflix. watch we watch a movie like once every night. That's crazy to me. I don't know why. Yeah, oh. no, that's that's so scary though. <gasps> oh. I forgot. I have. Uh, I got sent more pictures of the house. Oh, really? oh, you did? Yeah. Let's have I seen see. them? Oh, does it look does it look crazy? Yeah. Oh my god, it's really freak. cool. I'm gonna airdrop. All right, so you guys, a couple episodes ago. Oh yeah, recap. Go ahead, Zane. A couple episodes ago, um, the people that used to live here like a long time ago, they came to Heath and Mariah's house, and they were at the gate. They were taking pictures, and they let them inside to show them the house. <gasps> Did they send? That's yeah. Whoa! Wow, a Christmas card of them sitting in the fireplace in the fireplace in their own house. I'm not gonna. Oh, this is in the uh, yeah. guest house. What? Let me see it with you. This is so weird. Turn it sideways. Isn't that crazy? Wait, That's whoa. crazy. Oh my so, god. I feel like I shouldn't be looking at she's these. She's the one. So the first picture, Zane, by the fireplace. Are you at that picture? Yeah. The bottom right girl is the woman that came to take pictures of the house. That's yeah. her. Yeah. Wow. So that's their Christmas card from seven. Well, they got a shag, a cool little rug. Not to yeah. ruin this moment, but it looks like I'm looking at pictures that a horror movie would use. A horror, right? Yeah. It looks crazy with all the children. They were sitting a loving in the game family, room. always like, together. Tell me that doesn't look like a documentary picture. Like they would just show this in the documentary. You're it's like zoom, zooming in. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? These oh people were wealthy. <laughs> that's what I said. I said, what the hell did they do? Oh, know, damn. Who knows, the pool looked could, nice. This could be like uh, Bob Hope's kid over here at, during know. the party. <laughs> You never know. Wow, look at that gate. It's just That's a gate in the mean, middle right? of the yard. You know when you search like up your addresses and houses on like Google, uh, has Google Street View? Yeah. yeah. I just realized this yesterday. You can go back in time and look at- Change what, the Street View year. By year. So like I went back, I went to my parents' house and it was like my mom's old car was out front. And then like during 2014, like my friend's car was in front of my parents' house. Like he like stopped and said hi to them. Wow. Oh, that's interesting. So that's, it's weird you can How do that. How far does it go back? back? 2008. Wow. Damn. Imagine you got to go back like 1960, like to see the, how, like what everything on I know, history I looked wish. like. I saw I a wish. TikTok Man. where a girl like was so emotional because she realized, she realized that feature and she saw like her dad. Like who had passed away, like oh. working in the front yard, oh, and it was just like a picture man. you never knew right. of him was there. Yeah, that's yeah. pretty wow. cool. In his element, probably too. That's nice. I, my goal is to be on Google Street View. One time, it came past me, and I tried to do a cartwheel. I see them a lot of just, times. Yeah, a cartwheel. I tried to do a cartwheel. Damn, the people in the, that live in the two thousand one hundreds, twenty one hundreds. What is it going to be? Twenty one hundreds. Oh yeah. I'm so glad I won't man, be alive. They're going to be able to say see that. what it looks like. 2018. What That's was gonna be nice. The early 2000s called the Ox, the Ots, or was that the decade we just did? The t it was the tens. What do you mean? Isn't 2000 between 2010 known as the Ots? Oh, I'm not oh, sure. I've, I've never. I always said 2000s, and I said now we're in the 20s. The Roaring Twenties. We're in the Twenties. What happened in the Twenties? <coughs> like, it wasn't there like a, some sort. Of, it was after the prohibition was like in the beginning of the Twenties, right? I don't, I don't know. know. Flappers. It was and like yeah. speakeasies speakeasies all that and then the great depression happened like 1934 right. and then when everything when everything was good again everyone went crazy Baby everybody boomers. was like winning yeah. well then we went into war <laughs> yeah oh, and then okay, everybody sorry. came back from war and then it was like the 50s everybody and everyone went crazy had saying that's war <laughs> okay okay <laughs> i feel like I'm we're sure. going through another baby boomer stage right now mm -hmm. oh yeah speaking of i'm an uncle now Oh, get, get out of here! <laughs> well, not yet. I'm gonna be an uncle. No, technically yes. I mean, you're really? an uncle. The baby's in the baby. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I did know. I'm just hamming it up. Oh. <laughs> you I mean, told I knew, us last I knew you knew. I just Keep it in. was hamming it up. <laughs> what? It no, because I don't want people to like mistrust our reactions. <laughs> don't put that. Yeah. In. Don't don't put that. Um, in. What? Keep that in too. You're gonna be an uncle. Yeah. Uh, my brother just told me yesterday. Pretty crazy. Well, uncle Heath. I know. This is like this. This is now making me feel older. 
Here this. comes Uncle E. <laughs> it's your <laughs> fun <laughs> uncle. <laughs> oh man. Um, yeah, no, I'm excited. It's gonna be really cool. cool. Does it feel weird? Yes, uh, but it hasn't like it hasn't really hit me yet. You know, mm-hmm. um, <laughs> you're just like making it about you. <laughs> you know, yeah. I feel like it's one of those things you like. You don't really feel it until you're like in the moment, and it's like <laughs> you're holding the child. You know, I always love a good uh, pregnancy reveal. Oh like, yeah, I don't know. I've even seen even if it's so stupid with the them having like the noise canceling headphones. Yeah, and they're like, I'm having a, a baby. baby. I'm not really into it. I'm not into the reveals, the I'm, gender reveals. The I'm pre- just say it. I'm not into it. I, I'm not into gender reveals. I'm not into gender reveals. Okay. I just uh, I uh, who switch cares? Seats. Who cares? But pregnancy reveals, I think, can be fun intimately with your family. The bun in I don't the think oven. You, yeah. Uh, oh, that one's a little. <laughs> oh, hold on. I haven't seen that one yet. They, like, a, you know how bu- like, people say like they have a bun in the I oven. Get, I know, but like that's been done before. Yeah. Open people. the oven, ma. Meh. Meh. <laughs> M-E-H. Would you rather find out, like, in the moment right there that your wife is pregnant or... Can, wait, can I use y'all as hypothetically? Sure. Okay, so if, Mariah, you found out you were pregnant, would you immediately tell Heath? Would he be there, like, with you to see if it tests positive? Or would you, like, try to find a way to tell Keep him? Keep it a secret and make, like, a surprise? I think yeah, right then I and see, there. I see TikToks, though, yeah. where the guy's like, you're what? <gasps> you're pregnant? You know? Yeah. You should surprise it's cool. like nine months later. I just think I think I, I think he would just be right there with me. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I don't know why. It's just like even right. and like for the whole gender thing, I feel like I'm gonna have my ultrasound where they tell me if it's a boy or girl and we're like, just tell me. Like let's get let's let's just do this. Oh, I don't wanna <laughs> find I don't wanna find out until I wanna know. I until used to wanna know, but then I've been convinced like it's more fun to wait. But then you get connected to like a certain name for the gender and then it's not that. And you're like, all right. Oh, true. You know, I feel like people get lean more towards a boy or girl. And then and you can get like stuff ready beforehand, I feel. Yeah, I'd be more buy prepared. Fu- He's like, I need to buy a little dirt bike. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> or what like, color? It's like, do I need to buy it or do I not? Is it a boy? <laughs> right. Everybody's different, though. Yeah. Everyone's yeah. different. I'm going to have a baby when I'm like 63. I'm just going Maybe he's gonna think I'm a grandpa, but nope. Now, Mariah, if if you found out Heath was infertile, but you guys still wanted to have your kids, would you take Heath's brother's sperm? Oh, that you better is watch weird. that answer. Whoa, that I'm kidding, is kidding. weird. Dark, but obviously yeah, you're not gonna have sex right. with his but, brother. Right. But, but true. When, but it would still um, be like your kid. They would still look like you guys. Yeah. And cool. would you yeah. do that for your brother? Mariah, would, would you be comfortable I think with I would, that? I think would I would, would I give that? my nut for my brother? <laughs> Absolutely. Yes. Yes. I, 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 I would do too. That. Yeah, yeah. I would too. It's the closest thing you can get. Yeah. I think you guys would end up just not having kids. What are you, a maniac? A freaking Looney Tune? No, I'm saying like if you, <laughs> if you guys <laughs> couldn't do it, like you couldn't make a decision like I can't do his brother. You know, like what do we do? I would adopt. You would adopt. Okay. Yeah. Six yeah, of, of course. <laughs> How do you guys feel about like sur- it's called surrogates, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, <laughs> surrogates. Like right? other women that carry yeah. somebody's baby. Yeah. Would you so would you ever do it if you weren't doing this? Like if it was just like, because you oh, get a, as a job. Sure. Yeah. Oh, oh. I don't be, think so. Yeah, if you're you offered like a million dollars, I know. If for my the year. sister couldn't have children, she asked me yes. Oh, okay. Some people love being pregnant. Yeah. Some like people, they love it. They feel they alive. They it. feel their purpose. Yeah, and I think they like to help other people too. I think it's a lot of that too. Like, I, I would like money to help for them just too. chilling. I also like, I would get, get like attached a... though. I'd be like, no, like <laughs> giving like... that up. I'd be like, no, oh, I can't. But you can't drink for nine months. Yeah. Do you think celebrities do that a lot? If yes. they want yeah. their body to stay like. I know if I if I was like I don't know incredibly famous and my wife was incredibly famous and we were both working so much and we really wanted to have a baby. I could see that being an option. But I, I think the fun part is the pregnancy. Yeah, yeah, I that's, think that's the, whole, the, yeah. whole the feeling of it being your right. own child is you giving birth. Right, yeah, I Having agree. that, you know, experience. Exactly. You would never, like, be able to be there to squeeze your wife's hand and be like, we're doing this. Can like, I come over and uh, uh, feel my baby kick your tummy? Like, you just, this, like, go over to this, like, this oh, baby yeah. is, this that's, baby our, is, that's our baby in there. This may be a stupid question, but... Surrogates, it's they take genes from both both mom and dad, and then it's planted in the woman. But like none of her genes go no. into the baby at all. 
That's crazy to me. I How the agree. fuck does that happen? That is some magic. Yeah. Wow. L learning more here than sex ed. Do you, I know. <laughs> Do you ever see those TikToks where, where you're like, when you're in the middle of eating eggs and you realize you're eating eggs. And, the, and it starts to like, taste like eggs? Yeah, and they, oh. it starts to taste like eggs. They're like, mm. <laughs> <laughs> that happens to me every time. I'm like, yeah, let's get some eggs. I'm, I'm in the mood for eggs. And as you're eating them, you get like, like. Kind of grossed no. out. Yeah. I love eggs with everything. Eggs are just <laughs> such a good, like topping i like a good hard-boiled egg just mm, with yeah. salt you put no salt i just like oh. take yeah i like to just swallow it. No, no chewing <laughs> it's a whole bunch of protein and i just want it now and i just know that i need to eat and so i just i like them they're just a little dry for me i know but dry. i sit there i'm like i'm just like i, I, it. I'm, I'm I like when it's a little yolky in the in the middle I don't yep. like the chalkiness of the yellow when it's like fully so boiled. You like it when you like crack it and you have like dip in yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. You That's put it fun. over avocado and toast. Yeah. Avocado or and toast. Poached is nice. Oh, oh yeah. Little eggs florentine. Mm. You guys are getting a little taste of our breakfast life. <laughs> <laughs> I know that that was going to be something for our Patreon subscribers, the taste <laughs> of our breakfast life. But You know what I hate? That I can't believe people eat eggs florentine. I just the, said the that. The holiday sauce. Love... Wait, eggs it. Benedict or eggs you, Benedict? Hold on, what's eggs Florentine? Zane, I don't know what eggs egg Flor Florentine eggs is. Eggs Florentine is spinach with that with like a poached egg. But oh, I love spinach. Do you okay, know, no, holiday Benedict. sauce is eggs. It is. Yeah, it's I thought eggs, it was it's mustard. Egg works, right? Eggs and I butter. It was like a little Big Mac sauce thing well, ripping up back there. It's I'm eggs like, and I butter. Are you serious? What? Are you sure? <laughs> no, there's like mustard in it. There has to be. There's something in there where I, 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 I eat it. I'm just. It's like, wit. <laughs> it's it's like I don't put mustard in. Mine. Oh, it, but in deviled eggs, it's. I think there's like mustard. There's <laughs> Gordon yeah. Ramsay's gonna do at this. He's gonna be like idiots. <laughs> it's not what it is at all. Completely stop, wrong. Stop. 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 Everybody stop. listening with a culinary degree, we're so sorry. <laughs> We have no fucking idea. Oh, they said colonial. I, was I, like, I, thought, no. he said col I thought he said colon area. <laughs> <laughs> I probably I did. can't wait to play it back. <laughs> this is not my uh, episode. Yeah, all you got to do is whisk the yolk, uh, water, lemon juice, and cook over very low heat. It's the and lemon. And then stir in butter. Uh, oh, it's the lemon. It's the lemon. It's. I think it's that taste of and lemon. Salt, pepper, paprika. I want to eat it. I want to try it one more time now. Now knowing that it's lemon, because I, I, for some reason, I thought, I <laughs> thought it was you. maybe mustard or vinegar, and I like in my mind was like, this is mustard or vinegar, and then I, I just spit it out. No, it's literally egg on top of egg. Just hating mm. without even trying. Yeah, I mean, I'm like that with, I, 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 I'm like that with eggplant too. I need to try eggplant again. I think you need TMJ surgery more than anything. I do too. I know. I know. I need TMJ. My dentist told me I think this it's when going I was in like to be sixth grade. It's going to be worse for you in like later in your life. Because like be, when Zane eats, it's like there's gonna be a day. Well, right now, right now it's just doing this. One day, my bones are gonna tap, and my mouth is gonna be so unbearable. The pain will be unbearable. Like I won't be. I'll have to just stay yes. with my mouth open. And you're or wired, and you could be like wired shut your yeah. mouth uh -huh. for that. I need to get the surgery before that happens. Because yeah. once it happens, I'm. Fucked. I feel like you're yeah. getting pretty close. Damn, I should have done it last year. We weren't doing anything last year. Yeah. I should have just. <laughs> Dude, summer's gonna hit. We're gonna be like, as soon as I, we step out, woo! Uh, Zane on the beach. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, hold on. Wait, no. I, I gotta tell you what happened oh. to me a couple days ago. Um, so I went, I went so long without having fraud uh, on my credit cards. You and usually have fraud. You have fraud. It, it, hap no. it would happen to me like three times a year. That's like a since, lot. since I moved out here, I was always getting fraud on my cards. What, is it because do you go to those gas stations that like it's like a no name gas station? I don't know. I don't know if it's that or if it's like leaving a tab open at a bar and then they like swipe your stuff, whatever. I don't know what it is, but it was happening all the time. And I went so long without having fraud and I, I ended up getting it. I got a, a text like, was this you? And I was like, shit, no, it wasn't. And they always do that thing where they swipe it for a dollar just to see if it works. Yep. Um, but they ended up blocking it, um, but it, it was compromised, so they had to send me a new card. Like, shit. And then you're getting emails like, your subscription is canceled, and you got to do this. And then you're trying to like figure out what was on yeah. that card. Finally got it all figured out. And then a couple days after that, <clears throat> I get another text alert. It was like, uh, Chase... Fraud alert. Uh, did you try spending $1,200 at Publix in Atlanta, Georgia? And then another attempt for 1500 at Publix. And I'm like, God. Like, no, it wasn't me. So I, I type back and I say no. And then it's like, okay, uh, you're fraud, whatever. You 
decline, whatever. How do they get this information? Like, how does I that happen? Know. And I, it was, it was, it made me so mad because I just got it, and then like a couple of days later, it happened again on my other card. Wait, what do you mean? How does it happen? Well, they because know. normally when people take someone's card information, usually it's in the same city, you know, like like at a restaurant or they, like, like at a sell gas that station. Shit. They, they take the number, they get the info, and then they sell it out to. They whoever just, to make why does why do, why doesn't that can, person just take the information instead of selling it to somebody else they can figure a way to like imprint it on like yeah. something else like a nut you can like make, you can make credit card. cards got that it okay swipeable. so i i call chase and as i'm calling it's like ringing 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 and then i get a call from the same number from chase calling me <clears throat> so i hang up and then i answer the other one and i'm like hey how's it going they're like this is so and so from chase uh just a uh, fraud alert on your card. Just wanted to call um, and just verify that it wasn't you that made these purchases. They're like, we got one for twelve hundred. Uh, was that you? And I was like, no. And they're like, okay, it was in Atlanta, Georgia. Um, I'm assuming that the second one for fifteen hundred wasn't you either. And I was like, no, it wasn't. They're like, okay, great. Um, so your card has been compromised. Um, so we are gonna have to send you out a new one. Cancel that one. Um, and then he goes. Uh, just to just to verify that this is you that I'm talking to, I'm gonna need you. I'm gonna send you a code right now to your phone. Um, can you just verify um, just that you're who you are? And he says because there's getting a login attempt from that same location. And I was like, that's so weird. He's like, it, it appears that they got access into your account. Just uh, read me the verification code. I'm about to text you right now. I'm like, okay. I said the number, and then as soon as I said that, I got an alert on my phone that said your password's been changed, and they were zelling money out of my account for thousands and thousands of dollars. Damn. And I'm like, holy shit. I was like, they're 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 stealing my money right now, and they were it was sending to Heath Hussar, so they made a, another account called Heath Hussar, so it would look like I was sending it to myself. Oh man, they were deep. And then as I'm on the phone, and the guy you're on the phone with is works for your bank. It then wasn't I realized so <gasps> this is the fucking scammer that's calling me right now. Yes, because he was How asking for you to sent, verify your code. He sent me, so he knew he was going to try to yep. sign in for the login attempt oh, to get access. Shit. So it was all happening so fast. He's like, all right, I'm going to need, we got to block him out. I'm going to send you a verification code. So he goes in and tries to make the attempt. I send him the code so he can get access in. And then he changed my password, locked me out. And then was wired like trying to Bro, sell money. Bro, that's out. good because I just I just I transferred like my phone, my old phone to my new phone. And the person on the other line needed my verification code. Dude, so like, it, that dude, that's crazy. It was so smooth the way. Hi, this is so and so from Chase. Just calling to like, and it was so perfect. All right, cool. Yeah, we're gonna send you a code right now. Just go ahead and read that back to me real quick, and we'll just make sure we get your account locked. So no. Once they're asking for you to read back a code that's been sent but to I you, realized, that's like a red flag. I know, but like, it's like, not, it wasn't why? a red flag when I switched my phones. They they needed the verification code that was texted to my phone. You know what I mean? So I don't. I think it's like kind of a normal thing sometimes. Check your shit, cause maybe, maybe they did the same. No, thing. no, I, my phone got transferred like easily. Like nothing of mine has that been compromised scary for that, how weeks easily now. Easily that can just yeah. happen. That's crazy. Cause I'm seeing do the they alerts. Still, get, even though you get reimbursed for the money, do they still get the money? So they it ended up getting blocked. They never got the money out of my account. And I think uh, the bank goes after those people. I don't think they just let it go. I yeah. think they do an investigation. I, oh, so just, they don't fun, tell you. What a fun job. I like, know. I'm always Ooh. like, I go, yeah, find out who committed the fraud. But can I see the security <laughs> camera footage <laughs> of them at the Publix yeah. trying yeah. to stop? Yeah. No, I'm like, I just want the footage. No, but the I thing want was, they blur out their faces. Just <laughs> yeah. they, they didn't even try to swipe it. It wasn't an actual fraud. Like They didn't actually try to pay at Publix with my card. Okay. The whole thing was a setup. They just they just got that your number. That text was a setup. Oh, they set Damn. it up to make it look like there was fraud you didn't, so right. they could get your information. You didn't, oh my goodness. You didn't scroll back though to see like 1500. No, see other texts from Chase or wherever your bank is. Not from that, but when I I called and then it said Chase verification with all the other Chase <sighs> things because the guy was doing the login attempt. It was just really smooth. I know, but the 1500 that was spent at Publix was that ever on your account? No, because it didn't happen. Got it. They but you didn't bother to. None of us. None of us would check. We would just fucking. Well, it, it it didn't go through. What a rush. For everybody listening, I mean, now that if someone's asking for you for a verification code, don't fucking just don't be careful. Fucking, yeah, because I'm sure they get so many old people. Oh, dude. Like I feel That's like sad. I'm pretty savvy with this stuff. 
that's but you sad. know, and a lot of oh, older people, they have a lot of money saved up from like pensions oh and my shit. God. So, oh, my friend uh, broke up with his girlfriend, and uh, at one point during the relationship, he had given her. Uh, he had given her his uh, credit card information to use for her Lyft account because she had no money. Uh-huh. And then they broke up. And then all of a sudden he kept seeing these charges on his Lyft account constantly going. And he's like, I'm not taking any of these rides. And you know how sometimes you get notifications from Lyft or Uber. It was one you took days ago. So yeah. you're like, I guess I made, did take one of those rides during the weekend. And it just kept adding up. And he oh, realized man. she was using his card she knew exactly on her Lyft account in, uh... the entire time. But he feels so bad because he doesn't want to talk to her because she was such a terrible person. Yeah. Right, right. Wow. And be like, you owe me money. Just to just doesn't even want to talk to her again. Oh. Like, ooh, shit. But yeah, just be careful out there with your cards and technology and stuff like that. Yeah. All right, so we got a little, uh, <clears throat> I wouldn't say an inappropriate quiz, um, but just some random fun facts. It's not inappropriate at all. <clears throat> Zane, I'm going to ask you a question real quick. Okay. In 2008, two sisters found this and sold it on eBay for $1,350. Uh, choose from one of the answers below. A potato that looked like Abe Lincoln, a piece of bread that looked like it had Jesus' face on it, a cornflake shaped like Illinois, or a carrot that looked like a perfect penis. The second one, the the bread with the Jesus, Jesus bread. on it. Mm-hmm. I agree. Uh, I agree. Jesus I bread. feel like that was because I, I saw that on like Reddit or something. It was actually a cornflake shaped like Illinois. Get out of here for thirteen hundred and fifty bucks. Someone really bought it for thirteen hundred. Wow. Damn. Oh, what, and they sell it on eBay. I wonder how accurate it was. I wonder where the cornflake is right now. These purchases are being made. Do you think rich people are buying this shit or like collectors, weird collectors who are willing to who spend are 13... rich? Who are yeah, rich? There's no way somebody's going to thirteen hundred dollars on one cornflake. That's true. Yeah, they have to have money to spend. Do you think rich people are buying this shit as a joke? Like, oh, I'm going to buy this because that's funny. Yes. Got it. Okay. I think so. Like to me, it's a it, ooh, oh, 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 oh my god! Oh, wait, it's like it's covering. There's a uh, rat skeleton on my. There's a on my there's mic. a uh, Matt King action figure. Okay. Yeah, right? Hey guys, okay. look, it's Matt. On, look, it's Matt. He's, he's got to say something. <laughs> Honey, next card. Right. Next card. <laughs> next card. We're gonna lose. You ready? Mm-hmm. Yeah. When you're traveling on a New York City subway, fifteen percent of the air you breathe is what? Gas fumes, fecal matter, body odor, or dead skin. Oof. I'm going to guess body, body odor. odor. Body odor? What about you? Heath? Let's go wild and go fecal matter. Fecal matter. It's dead skin. Hmm. What? Mm-hmm. Well, when you, like, I thought when you scratch, like, dead skin cells fall off. What does dead skin smell like? Uh, I mean, Wait, it's 15% of the air? Oh, I interpret that it is, as smell. That seems like a lot. It's that a you're contained, breathing in? You were talking about stank shit? Imagine everybody's dead skin that you're fucking Ooh. sniffing all day. <gasps> What's up? Fifty percent of air in here in the unfiltered room. Yeah, Alcohol. Zane's farts. Oh, probably. Um, give me a bunch of sex ones. I told you they were inappropriate. Zane. <laughs> I, I mean, I saw the the first two cards were not sex, and then I kept looking. Like, oh, they're sex. Chimpanzees are bonkers. They'll steal and eat the babies of rival clans, and they often a accidentally eat their own babies, b mistake human babies for chimpanzees and take them. C, carry their skull around as a warning, and D, have sex with corpses. I'm going to go have sex with corpses. Yeah, I'm going to go with have sex with corpses. I saw the answer. Okay, it's B, mistake human babies for chimpanzees and take them. Oh, God. Where's that's my kid? why those that's babies get. That's why uh, Harambe and that baby, that baby that he took. Uh-huh. Remember uh, that baby went into the. I know that was crazy. I can't. I that, that baby mistake. That I thought that video opposite. was fake. Where is that kid now? I'm surprised he hasn't like done a big interview yet. Or on TikTok, like yeah. yeah. Well, waking up in the morning, thinking <laughs> about so many things. <laughs> <laughs> Bubba, you got one for us. Yeah. Okay. Roughly 7,000 people per year die due to what relatively fixable issue in the medical field? A, doctor's sloppy handwriting. B, staff mixing up patients' names. C, failure to read medicine labels. Or D, stethoscope malfunctions. Oh, I'd say fail to read mixing mixing up the that, names i agree with zane it's or you have to think about older people i i think i've heard that about doctors handwriting what is it what do you think mixing up the names 
handwriting. Uh, Sloppy handwriting. Uh, uh, that is wild. That's cr- that that's, is that's so insane. bad. That's so bad. They're doctors. Okay. <laughs> I mean, their handwriting is very sloppy. Seven thousand. Every time I, every time 7, I read about it, roughly seven thousand people per year die. Jeez. So hold on. So, th- so it's not the really the doctor's fault. It's the pharmacy's fault because they think it says something else. And no, right? it's the doctor's fault because it is chicken yeah. scratch. No, I understand but, that. But if the like, pharmacy can't like read it, they go back to the doctor and be like, "Hey, what'd you write on this prescription?" Not or, just or it, it might, whatever. It yeah. might not only be the prescription; it can also be like the, the diagnosis of right, what right. something oh, is in the well, hospital. I mean, so they go, "Oh, it says fifty yeah. milliliters of this thing," and then they're five hundred. Oh, oh, the yeah. number! I didn't even think of like the amount yeah. that they're prescribing. Could be anything. Oh, wow! That's crazy. not even prescription. Just like if you have somebody that comes in and they need to be like put to sleep or whatever for a yeah. surgery they're about to have. Yeah, like how much anesthesia they need or yeah. whatever it is or. Seven thousand. I also think about like that's a lot. Like when meals get mixed up at a restaurant, like because their handwriting is re- they're really fast writing everything down the waiters, and then they bring it to the chef. Like, do they just misread it? I'm surprised all the waiters don't have like <laughs> a, even more right, important. Right. <laughs> Mariah. Waiters still write everything right, like with a pen yeah. and notepad. Some I'm of them surprised remember. that like they're not allowed this like. A phone or something iPad. that they, can, they have I, them or something. some place some have sort them. of device right. yeah that yeah. has a touch screen Chili, I mean, chili's does that now zane would be in the hospital being like uh how's your handwriting uh. <laughs> <laughs> i'm just surprised i still see that shit you know what i mean i just use your phone in just over two years what percentage of a pillow's weight is made up of dead dust mites and their droppings i don't want to know four 15 22 or 33 Pounds? What percentage of a oh. pillow's weight? 22%. I'm going to have to go with the lowest percentage. What's the lowest percentage? Four, 15, 22, I'm going to say four. 22. Ten. There's no Is way. There 10? <laughs> 10. <laughs> 15. I, it's a, I bet it's a lot. What is it? Four, 15, 22, or 33? I think we all picked one. All right. It's 33. Ooh. 33%. Wait. Dust that's... mites in their droppings? Yeah. Dust mites have... Droppings? I didn't even know that they could drop. Wait, I thought du- What's a dust oh, mite? It's a dust mite. I'm thinking of dust bunnies. I'm thinking of a mouse. <laughs> Literally, my dust mouse. bunnies don't poop. <laughs> dust bunnies are. They're bunnies. Do you remember the Rugrats episode? Dust bunnies. Yes, where They go yes! down that into was, the basement and they like have to fight scary. off the dust bunnies. <laughs> that was scary. <laughs> it's a dust bunny. Yes. After how long? Two years. Uh, oh, I didn't hear the two years part. I would have picked another. I wish I didn't know that. (laughs) (laughs) Me neither. This delicious treat is made from the skin, bones, and hooves of pigs and cows. I know the answer without even reading it. Hooves. Could I guess? Yeah. Marshmallows. Very good. (gasps) Lava. (laughs) Very good. You didn't know that? (laughs) Because it's gelatin? Well. I guess. But yeah, what's really interesting is that like in the Muslim, like Muslim religion, you can't eat eat pigs. Like it's, it's, it's so sinful. It's like the number one sinful thing you can put in your body is a pig. Anything made it from a pig. What they, can, what they don't know won't hurt, I guess. The only they, they reason why I, I knew that, in high school, there there was a rumor going around that, you know, like, marshmallows is made out of pig's toes. And I was like, no, like, of course that's made up. That's the only other, like, time I've heard of that. So just hearing that, that's why I guess it. I didn't I'm going to tell my dad though. this. I'm going to be like, hey, you know mar- No like, more I- peanut butter and fluff. <laughs> He's on the phone with you, just like, <laughs> eating <laughs> a s'mores. <laughs> What's up, son? Going, as alaykum. Make a s'mores. What? as alaykum. Oh, fuck. Wait, the place you go to get clean is actually dirty as hell. The filthiest item in your shower is your A, shampoo bottle, B, bar of soap, C, loofah, D, faucet loofah. handle. Loofah. Loofah. 100%. Yeah, it's, your, it's your loofah. Yes. For the longest time, I thought I was using Zane's loofah. Do you remember oh, that? Yeah. We, we had a big it. scary moment. <laughs> they were both great. But I mixed up the color of my loofah. Mine was some like an, another one, and I said his color accidentally, and we uh, both freaked out. But yeah, that's just gross. And I always yeah. make sure like I have a new loofah every month. Is that bad? I exchange mine a lot. One with with what? <laughs> exchange it. You take it. Uh, I'd like a new one. <laughs> the <laughs> sisterhood of the it. traveling loofah. Just, oh God. <laughs> Girl, try replace it. it. Replace it. <laughs> uh, like, like one day, one day, my brother used my loofah and he was sick. I think, 
And I remember like after I used the loofah when he used it after he was sick, I got sick too. And I thought it was the Ooh, fucking weird. grossest thing ever. Huh. I didn't use a loofah my entire life until college. I didn't use yeah, you, I didn't yeah, use, I mean, I use, I use a washcloth or my hands. Just yeah. my hands. I can't do a washcloth. It does nothing for me. I actually bring a loofah with me everywhere. Like I have to use a loofah yeah, I didn't every use time. Until recently, yeah, so. I didn't. Uh, but then when I used a loofah, I was like, "Whoa!" Yeah. It's working at the car no, wash. Wax on, Whoa. wax on. It, I feel like it just really gets in your skin and gets rid of the the dirt, the, the dead skin cells. The dead yeah. skin cells. That otherwise, exactly. we'd be breathing in. I don't um, know how significant others are okay with this but the loofah reminds me of like the toothbrush like Heath and I have the same brand toothbrush but the colors are a little bit off like one's dark purple one's black and I was like mine's purple right like I, I would freak out but there's significant others that are like can I use your toothbrush well yeah, I think that's no. weird okay. yes, Patr yes Patricia when I started like being at her house a lot. I thought she had this like spare toothbrush and I started using it and I didn't realize it was her eyebrow to or it was a it was a oh, brush. Oh no. I didn't realize it was a brush for her eyebrows. And you used it? Yes. But I remember being like, oh, what you a want, weird toothbrush you this is. Hear and she worse? goes, that's for my eyebrows cuz she has this brush that looks like a toothbrush. For her eyebrows. Like, we use it for our hair sometimes, like an old one. Yeah, I've size. seen girls use tooth like toothbrushes for their, like, hair. Like, I used to use it for dance. Like, you put your hair in a bun, all the flyaways, you just uh -huh. brush them back with, like, You want to hear strength. something worse? One day, I, I, like, I used this toothbrush, and I saw that it was just, like, used a lot. And I... <laughs> Okay. I, I was like, oh, I must have brushed. I just must have brushed my teeth really hard the last night. So I brushed my teeth. <laughs> the, the, you know when it's like bent down? No, no, like... no, no. I brushed my teeth. And then no. I think I brushed it for maybe like four more days. I was using the same toothbrush. And one day I see my brother using the toothbrush to like clean his like tires. No! And I was like, what is that? He's like. Oh, the toothbrush that like I keep in the, so because we have the same bathroom. Like he puts right, it in right. the drawer, but like I didn't realize. Like I didn't know why I used a toothbrush that was in the drawer instead of like the cup. I don't know, but like it was. You my, didn't know where you no, left it your was, toothbrush. No, it was my toothbrush, but like I think one day he put it in the drawer and he thought that that was just a toothbrush nobody was using. Oh, so he used no. it, and I've been brushing my teeth with uh, with a tire scrub for four days. And hence the nine root canals that I had. You in thought my it was the life. condensed milk. I would, I would, <laughs> would turn it into the Michelin name. <laughs> like, oh my goodness, no. that's but you know bad. what's crazy? I couldn't even taste it. It had like, like tire he, shine. His teeth are just ooh, like char <laughs> the wet look. He, <laughs> he, he thought ooh, it was like charcoal. the charcoal. Yeah, yeah. He thought it was like oh, ooh. <laughs> Get oh my god, what's this? is this the moon toothpaste? Oh crazy. yeah. Yeah, I don't understand how people willingly use each other's. I get grossed out by my own toothbrush. I replace it so often. Yeah, me too. I replace it every... So I, often. I also get paranoid about, like, my toothbrush and stuff when you have people over. Like, if it's, like, a party or something. Yes, I feel like people you think use... people, like, do it and, like, scrub the grout? Or no, I feel like they use it. like, oh, I gotta just, like, brush my like, teeth. Like, let me just... Ew, yeah. no. Nobody or, would no, do that. People do it. Yeah, people do it. People have no shame with toothbrushes. It's, it's kind of, like, strange. You know what I think is weird? And I've never understood it. Like, what is the... Like, it's in movies. It's in, like, everything. Like, parents talk about, like, who is actually going through somebody's medicine cabinet? Do oh. people really do that? I I do it. I'm nosy. I, I've done, oh, really? it. I've done it a couple times. Very nosy. Yeah. Go through somebody's like medicine? I don't get it. He just found because... out our medicine cabinet opened. I didn't know. <laughs> We've been living here for a year. He goes, have you seen my razor? I was like, it's in the mirror. You were like, what? That opened? Freaked out. Had no idea. <laughs> I like uh, so there's be, there'd be times where I'm looking for like floss or something. So Some, I open yeah. the medicine cabinet and I see the floss. I grab it and I'm like. I wonder yeah. what that is. See, I, well, I have our no, medicine cabinet set no, up. I would never take a pill, but I just like. Oh, you being in, No, I would. I like <laughs> being interested in like looking at what someone's prescribed and then like Googling it, being like, what oh, is that? Oh, that's weird. And I then, just look for like then, mouthwash or something that I could throw back. Oh, no. I, so, <laughs> I'll, I I don't actively like do that. Have but, you gone through my medicine cabinet? Times. No, I use the I guest have, bathroom and here. And I was I was younger. I, was I, so I love our, how our... Mariah has her own bathroom here. It's like y'all are divorced parents. <laughs> yeah, why, and you guys shower in different bathrooms. Why do you do that? Because ours is scary. <laughs> <laughs> oh, none of you shower in your no, own bathroom. We don't use the bathroom in our room. Well, yeah. Why? Who cares? And these are Jim, Newton, Jim Snooten showered in there. She came up with all those songs. Your shower isn't scary at all. Yeah, but the pipes are bad. The pipes are bad. Oh, yeah. okay. 
Cause, but anyway, because I remember like like remember my bathroom in the first house, how uh -huh. dark and scary it yeah. was. I still use it because I didn't care, but like we used to use it. We used it in the beginning, but the <sighs> pipes are really like they need a lot of work. Yeah. So we we're just like, it. let's not deal with it. Oh, this. I thought you just didn't use it because it was scary. I was no. like, come on, guys. I no. set up the medicine cabinet for people to look in. Like I put stuff that like like travel size stuff that are it's brand new it's not open there's like two there's a no like, gotcha you bitch what you're looking <laughs> for you put out, like, out like prescription stickers just to put it on just to be like <laughs> and I remember one of the first America's funniest home videos I ever saw was somebody took like a whole thing of marbles and put it in the medicine cabinet oh, and, oh and that's they, funny and they and they set up a hidden camera so at the which I think is weird though like why are you putting I don't know they put it in an area <laughs> where they couldn't see the person going to the bathroom. But the person would be like washing their hands and would just go, <laughs> and then no, all the marbles. That's good. That's and they'd be like, loud. "Were you looking in the medicine cabinet?" They're like, "Yeah." <laughs> that's that's good. really funny. I'm gonna do that. Yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do thumbtacks. <laughs> you guys want to know Barbie's full name? The actual doll. Barbara. Barbie's full name, like the doll, is Barbara Millicent Roberts. Millicent. Millicent Roberts. Really? Isn't that insane? She's a Roberts. Oh. What about Ken? What? Ken Carson. <laughs> Whoa, cool. Okay. Kent, wait, Ken Carson and Barbie Roberts. Remember the Cute. show? That what did really Ken good. do? What was his job? It he seemed was, like he Barbie. Was hot. Wasn't he like a like a like a lifeguard? Uh, he was did always shirtless. Hold on, why do I Whatever feel like you wanted Barbie be, was one working and Ken was like the stay at home dad? Yes. It was, yeah, right? He, he was, was a the trophy, trophy man. boyfriend. Yeah. Was, there you go. <laughs> Yo, they flipped that they flipped baby, they were they were setting a standard, baby. What did Barbie do? She was she an was astronaut. Like the work, she was a working she woman. She did it all. She was oh, a working lifeguard. woman. She didn't stop. But Ken was in, the stay at home. In heels. She did it all in heels. heels. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Mattel. <laughs> it, it reminded me of this question. It was, uh, this female fashion staple was originally created for gentlemen. Bra, stockings, high heels, or corset. And it oh. was... Say, can you say that one more time? Bra, stockings. No, oh, no, no. The question. Sorry. This female fashion staple was originally created for gentlemen. Bra, stockings, high heels, corset. 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 I'm going to say stockings. Stock actually, I, I switched my answer. Stocking. It's corset. actually high heels. What? That's why when you said all of that in heels, and it reminded me of that question. Wait, why? Yeah, why? There because like men just wanted to like... Be, be taller. Be taller. We're not talking about stilettos. It's like a high heel. Like Pilgrims like a dress had high boot, heels. A, a, a platform shoe. I don't know. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I That's mean, I don't think we're all thinking of stilettos. Like, just like. Yeah. yeah. Some, some nice little pumps. Yeah. That was a trick question. I see what they were doing. I thought it would definitely be a corset to stay like fit. I don't know. I think I'm going to start wearing like platform shoes, but like make it look like real shoes. Because I, <laughs> I do want to be Excuse a little taller. Me. You I want to be at least Get six these. feet. Because I'm 5'11". I want to be two inches you're taller. You're 5'11"? Mm -hmm. That's the worst height. Why? Because <laughs> you're 5'11". <laughs> you're, you're one inch from being six foot. Does your driver's license say 5'11"? Yeah. Oh, man. Is that I don't embarrassing? understand the six foot height. Like, I don't mind it, but I'm saying, like, no, no, no. I She's know only you're saying tall. that because I'm 5'10. No, I really, I really don't. You can ask my sister, like, ever since, like, I was, like, a teenager when it's, like, oh my gosh, when he's tall, I'm like, I don't want him to be tall. Like, that's too, that's, it, I, it's too. But girl, I think I girls know. find I get that. like height attractive. Like yeah, the guy could look like anything, attractive. but if he's tall, oh, he's attractive. Yeah, yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't see. I that. don't get it, but I just like that it's a thing. Okay. <laughs> yeah, right. It's very I don't get it yeah. either. I, know. I, like, I, don't, it, I'm like, I don't find it unattractive. It's just not the thing that's so important. Like that, I'm not like, ooh, when he's six foot. Like, ooh. but what about when he's five three? I don't like that either. <laughs> you're, you're perfect. <laughs> I, like I feel like I feel like our height is just I feel chubby. I feel short and stout and shut. Baby, if you were if you were here right, is here my handle. handle. Here, here is, is my stout. <laughs> All right. So, uh, introducing if you guys didn't see last episode, we have Devin. Devon. Devon Asher. Spelled he, with an O, as a lot of you think it's spelled with an I or a Y. It's an, or an O. A. <laughs> or an A. You got a huge I'm applause. You got a huge okay. applause last episode. People loved you. I well, can't help it. He's a star. He returns. I can't That's help. why I'm saying What can I say? He helps a lot with the podcast. He helps a lot. He helps a lot in general. He was going to say so. with his own videos. <laughs> 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 so what, oh, game, what game are we playing, Devin? Okay, so this is a lovely game called Box of Lies. So basically there's six boxes. You may have seen this game on a different late night show. We're going to ignore that. <laughs> no, it's original. I, so yeah, we, I actually came, came up, with, up with this idea. No, so six boxes. They all have very different things in them. 
So basically, each of you will choose whatever box you want. Normally, when there's a crowd, the crowd will be like, oh, my God, pick five, pick six, pick four. But we don't have that. So just pick whatever box you want. (laughs) Okay. You know, just pretend that they're screaming at you. And uh, basically, you won't show us what you see in the box. You'll look at it. And then oh, okay. you have the choice to make, do I want to say exactly what's in this box? Or, make something or do up. I want to make something up? Ooh. The whole point is to get the other people here to, you know, falter and see that, you know, or just screw screw them up. You yeah. know, perfect. Okay. Who's so the you, best liar? Um, I, I don't am. lie. <laughs> That's a lie. <laughs> <laughs> I think he I don't lie Heath a has a good yeah, poker Heath face. Heath is a pretty good liar. I know yeah. when Heath's lying. You want to go first? Yeah. yeah. All right. So he's going to go first. Everybody's cheering me to Make pick sure. the closest one. Yeah. Oh, four. Four. Pick four. What's in the box? No, all of you guys can choose if he's lying or telling the truth. So you're oh. de- you're describing what's in it. You can describe the okay. truth. You can lie. A box. It's a box within a box? Yes. Oh, like a package. <laughs> what is this? Emperor's New Gru? Um, I, I put him inside of, I'm going to turn him into a bug and put him inside of a box and put him inside of another box and send it to my house and I'm, smash it with a hammer. <laughs> I'm thinking about the little, uh, the little, uh, the toys that go inside. Oh, the Moroccan dolls. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, it's, it's a product in a box. So, oh. Well, so you can say what the, you can say what it is if you want. Oh. Oh. I mean, I would, cause you're trying to say what's gotcha. in it. Um, but, Tampax. I think he's telling the truth. This is a lying game and I think he's trying to. I think he's he trying to spin it around. So I think you he know doesn't want to jump the gun and yeah. lie right away. I think you're being truthful. Yeah, I yeah. think so too. I'm gonna say the truth. Okay, so everyone's saying truth. Uh-huh. Yeah. All right, Heath. And what was Thank you for in trusting box? me? Elmo oh! Bitch! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Are you fucking kidding me? Oh, wow. Gotcha, bitch. Wait, where the fuck did you fu- did you put that together? Yes, I you did. You took an Elmo head and you took a baby and you put it together. <laughs> yes, I fucking oh, did. Oh my god. Are you, <laughs> are you hey, smoking you're something? Good. What, I what made really you, what made you, you want to put that? <laughs> she goes, I know when Heath is lying. <laughs> hey, I'm questioning everything. That's what I was doing in your house earlier in the corner when I was like, don't wait, come near wait, me. Give me that. Give- Y- y'all, I think this deserves to be on the box. Yeah, wait, oh wait, oh wait. Uh, <laughs> it's like, uh, wait, can I see it? Wait, er. Don't drop the baby. Anna, what? Janie's all better now. <laughs> yes. <laughs> wow, that was good. Janie's all better now. <laughs> Toy Story reference. That yeah, was so good. good. Isn't that her name, Anna? Yeah. Is it Janie? Janie's it, it, all better. I, we, under, we got Who it knows? exactly. All right. <laughs> For the people listening, it is a a baby, a boy, a boy baby with Elmo's head.